Okay, so now I'm going to go over the uh, VS1 kits uh, that include the full parts kit. So when you open the box, you're going to have a bunch of bags. You've got 10 pounds and a 5 pound box here. So very different than the kit that does not include the full parts. Uh, much more organization and much more detail. You have 25 bags, they're numbered. And you have six tubes of ICs, and you have the power supply unit, the enclosure, the PCBs, and the fan. These bag numbers correspond to every part that's in the DIY bomb. So the bomb version 1.02 and above has a new column for bag number, so you'll know where every part resides. Also, each bag in general kind of corresponds to one PCB that you might be working on. So, for example, uh, you know, bag 11 uh, has uh, the capacitors for the uh, voice cards. So it looks like for the voice cards, uh, bags 10 through bag 16 include all the parts for the voice cards. So if you start with, say, resistors for your voice cards, you will be opening this master bag, and then every uh, individual component is also uh, in a separate bag inside. So you can open one component at a time while you're building and not get confused or not have to save parts for you know a different PCB later on. No, everything is specific to the PCB that you're working on and the quantities are all correct for the PCB that you're working on. So, uh, so we've got bag 10 here you know, resistors for the voice cards. You got bag 11, capacitors for the voice cards. The voice cards, there's eight of them, so they, a lot of these bags are for the voice cards. Um, let's see, we've got voice, we've got bag 20 here, which is all the parts for the voice motherboard, um, except for the jacks. Bag 24 has the phone jacks for the voice motherboard. Here's more parts for the voice cards. Bags 15, bags 14 is the trimmers. Bags 13 are semiconductors and voltage regulators. Okay, so these are all for the voice cards. Bag 22 has a shielded cable for external audio inputs to voices 1 and 2. This is all described also in the build manual. The bags are all referenced in the build manual as well. Bag 17 is all the parts for the output board, aside from the ICs, that I'll show in a second. We've got the uh, panel board here, it looks like we have bag 18, with all the parts for the panel board. Bag 8, ribbon cables. Bag 9 is some final assembly stuff, uh, headphone jacks, of course, like I said, this is all in the bomb. IEC jack, some of the cable assemblies, fan guard, housings. Um, wire tie mounts, ribbon cable mounts, the OLED. We've got bag 12, the transistors for the voice cards. We've got bags 1 through 7 here. We've got the black screws. We've got uh, some of the other hardware and spacers. Bag 2, you've got all of the headers. Bag 5, you've got bag 6, ground cable, shielded cable, and some wire ties. Bag 7, the power switch cable assemblies. Bag 4 are the spacers for the uh, switches for the panel board. Bag 19 is the switches. Bag, bag 3 are the M3 sized spacers. We've got the power supply unit that is already modified and tested. And then you have the tubes. So you have six tubes. You've got Tubes 1, 2, and 3 are for the voice cards. Again, there's 8 voice cards, so there's a lot of parts for the voice cards. So you've got tubes 1, 2, and 3, and again, this is all in the bomb and all referenced in the build manual as well. Also tells you what's in here right on the tube. Tube 4 has the ICs for the output board, the voice mobo, and the panel board. And tubes 5 and 6 have the ICs for the main board. One thing to note is we included IC sockets. This was not originally planned. There's IC sockets for every board where they can be used. Now it's optional and up to you if you want to use them. Um, 20, 25 years from now, will they oxidize? Uh, will there be intermittent connections? I don't know, who knows? Um, it can be very useful to use them for uh, testing, building and testing and replacing, so you don't have to like desolder and remove an IC. Um, we do use IC sockets 
uh, in the majority of placements on our retail versions. Um, I will let that be known. Um, we buy these in bulk, um, so they're not in tubes, they're just loose. Generally, they are in good shape when you receive them, but since they are in a bag and everything is pretty cramped in here, we put them in a specific place that's safe, but you may have to, to bend a pin back. Consider it a bonus. It wasn't originally planned to be included, um, but you can see you know, the IC sockets in the panel board parts. There's IC sockets in the output board parts. So they all have them. You've got the uh, control knobs and the fan. And then you've got the PCBs and, of course, the enclosure. So that's pretty much it. Um, again, like I mentioned, uh, all the uh, components in the bags match up to the uh, DIY bomb versions 1.02 and above. And all the bag numbers are also referenced in the build manual during each section and each part of the build to make it easy for you. One last part I forgot to mention is uh, bag 25. It has the serial number label, the OLED bezel, the plastic bezel, and uh, the 3M transfer tape to mount the bezel to the panel. Um, that's the, the last bag of all of them. Uh, yeah, so I think that's going to do it.